The DJI Edition Armatan Badger. It's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. What? Six inch. That's right. This frame is built up. You can see by the elongated body. The honey badgers have a fairly long body. It actually is built up. I'm going to release the full build video of this uh, very, very soon. Uh, so you can watch these both at the same time. And um, here's a quick sneak peek of what it looks like. But you can see by the frame design that they have elongated the body in order to accommodate the DJI air unit system at the rear while still allowing you to have a full 30 by 30 stack or 20 by 20 um, of your choosing. So here we have the DJI edition of the Armitan Badger. Oh, check this thing out. And I kind of left some of the top pieces off so we can peer inside and find out what are the changes versus the original releases of the Armitan, in this case, the Marmot? Well, it looks a little bit similar, but if I put them right next to each other, you can see that the back of this is elongated in order to fit that DJI Air unit. And that is exactly what you're going to want to do as you're building up your HD builds. Yes, it's true. You can fit the uh, DJI system in just about any build if you make the standoffs high enough, uh, but we would prefer to actually have a frame that is built up for it. So the cage design at the front is pretty much the same as far as I could tell, uh, which is outstanding. So any kind of uh, accessories or mounts that you should have uh, should also fit here. I also printed out some three the printed arm guards. So let's take off the top pieces and look inside. Uh, I went ahead and applied this foam insert here, which is what the air unit is going to sit on top of. And I also went ahead and applied some hardware so you could see where the 30 by 30 stack would reside actually up at the front. So that gives you the middle section. Now, if you're using 20 by 20, you can do that here right in the center. Uh, that leaves me a lot of room in the middle in order to place my crossfire receiver that I'm planning on using. And uh, the air unit would sit pretty much like that, just a little bit away from this back hardware pieces right here, uh, which will allow your antennas to come out that way. And you can see they have made a little slot in the top plate for those DJI antennas. And there are some grommets that go in there that hold them in nice and snugly. They also include a couple of standoffs. Uh, if you have the room to be able to run in the middle, and I'm trying to see where those would line up, basically right on the sides uh, or the front of the air unit. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and install those as well. And as I mentioned, this is the Badger. So you have your individual arms here. These are all replaceable and warrantyable for the Arm 10 full warranty. And check out how great that looks under there. I still have a little bit of more hardware to install, but just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what you get when you purchase a DJI ready build um, frame like the Armor 10 version of the Badger or the Marmot. And since I already had a Marmot uh, analog version with the space grade carbon, I decided to go individual arm and try out a Badger. So let's get this thing built up. Stay tuned to the channel very soon. You're gonna be able to see the first flights on this DJI system uh, with this build. And what do you guys think in the comments? I've been holding off on digital and the DJI system for a while, basically uh, being a racer. Uh, unless I flew by myself, the DJI system just wasn't as useful to me because of the type of flying I do. And I often commented if I flew mostly by myself, I would have the DJI system already. Well, guess what? And these times I actually am flying mostly by myself. So it was time to put my money where my mouth was and purchase the DJI system so that I can give you guys all of the notes and I can spoil my eyeballs with HD footage. What have you done for 2020? Are you already running DJI? Are you thinking of running DJI? Are you waiting for the right sale? Are you waiting for the Cadex Nebula that's coming out? We're going to have the Vista and the Nebula on the channel very soon. So stay tuned for that. 
and this makes building go by so fast. Um, I do suggest that like any new build, you carefully kind of lay out the components before you start assembling them. I actually did twiddle with moving the stack around a couple of times before I got the layout just right that I was happy with. But all of this goes together quite well. It fits together so perfectly. And the DJI image on this thing is incredible. And I really, really like having a six inch frame, um, even if I'm gonna fly five inch props because that gets you a little bit additional separation uh, from the props uh, side to side and front to back. That gets you a little bit cleaner air to those motors and it's gonna make it fly a little bit smoother. So stay tuned, go ahead and watch the full build if you're interested in how I set this thing up. Thanks guys.